Hello guys, we choose case 31 for our group assignment. So let's discuss. Question A requires us to illustrate the effect of the issue using a diagram. There are two issues from the basis. Based on the first statement, the first issue is that the retail ceiling price of refined sugar in the country has decreased where in March last year, the price was 3 ringgit 6 cent per kilogram and it has decreased by 11 cent to 2 ringgit 95 cent per kilogram currently. So the conclusion is that the price of refined sugar decreased. Then according to the law of demand, when the price goes down, the demand goes up. Next, based on second statement, MSM cannot fully capture the benefit of the lower raw sugar cost which will increase their profit because the raw sugar cost obtained by the MSM company is 14 to 15 US cent which is higher than the average international raw sugar cost of 13 US cent. In conclusion, the price of raw sugar increased causing the market price of sugar to increase. According to the law of supply, when the price increases, the supply also increases. Based on the diagram, the first equilibrium point for quantity and price of sugar is at the point of intersection between Q0 and P0, where it is located at E0. However, the government wants to lower the cost of living so that the ceiling price for sugar is set by the government, which is lowered where the price is reduced from 3 ringgit 6 cent to 2 ringgit 95 cent per kilogram. And this will shift the demand curve to the right from D0 to D1. Then, due to the high price of raw sugar, which is 14 US cent to 15 US cent compared to the average international raw sugar price of 13 cents US this will cause the supply curve to shift to the right from S0 to S1 the new equilibrium point is felt at E1 in conclusion when there are an increase in supply and demand, this will cause increment for equilibrium quantity which is from Q0 to Q1. Well, the equilibrium price remains intermittent at P0 or, or P1. Then it will cause excess demand and shortage. Assalamu alaikum. I am Nur Rabiatu Adawiyah binti Muhammad Nasri. My metric number A22A 0449 represents the first part of factors that affect the price of sugar based on case study 1. The first factor is the tight supply of sugar. When the supply of sugar is tight, the price of sugar will automatically increase in the market. For example, when sugar is estimated at 2 million metric tons, but sugar production is only about 1 million metric tons. Sellers had to raise the price of sugar when sugar production was low to meet public demand. In that way, the seller can control the purchase of sugar from exceeding the limit when sugar production is limited when meeting customer demand. The second factor is the inflation of the US dollar that affects the price of sugar. This is because the US dollar is the main currency, which people use in financial transactions just like the price of sugar in US dollar. Moreover, any currency fluctuation will affect its international price. An increase in inflation means an increase in the overall cost of living. This case can be seen through case study 1 that states in the paragraph 2. MSM was not able to fully capture the benefits of the lower raw sugar cost during the quarter as it had locked in its raw sugar at 14 US cent to 15 US cent per pound which is higher than the average international raw sugar price of 13 US per pound. <coughs> this makes the price of sugar is increased from before. This is the reason why inflation of the US dollar can affect the price of sugar. The third factor that affects the price of sugar is global sugar stocks. Due to the long supply cycle of sugar, whenever there is a problem in terms of storage of the sugar commodity, there is also a significant effect in the price of sugar. 
This is due to high demand for sugar in sugar exporting countries such as the US, Brazil, India and others. Stocks are forecast to fall sharply due to export demand at selling increased production as farmers are likely to reduce their fertilizer use due to a surge in fertilizer price following Russia's invention of Ukraine in sugar production. Therefore, global sugar production is low and causes sugar prices to rise. To prove this statement, in paragraph 1, it has been shown that the Syrian retail price of refined sugar in the country is RM2.95 per kilogram. In March last year, the price was increased by 11 cents per kilogram, given the sharp increase in international raw sugar price at the time to US 0.18 cents per pound. When the international price of raw sugar increases, then the price of sugar in Malaysia will also increase. For the second part, factors affecting the price of sugar will be presented by my friend Shaima. My name is Nur Shaima Hasna binti Cihaya and my metric number is A22A0629. So I start with the second part of the factors that affect the price of sugar. Here I want to discuss three factors that cause change in the price of sugar. First factor that affect the price of sugar was the extent of competition in the market. A market in which a large number of produce complete with each other to certify the one the wants and need of a large number of customers. Competition in the market cause change in product price. For example, company A and company B sell the same product. But if company A sell product at a cheaper price, then customer will focus on company A only and not on company B. <coughs> the second factor is raw materials. It is the main input used in the production or manufacturing of goods. If the price of raw material increase, the price of sugar in the market will also increase. For example, raw sugar price that by MSM company is higher than average raw sugar international price and this cause the price for sugar increase. Raw material can also be inventory items that the company needs to manufacture its product increase. Why did I select that? Because no material, no raw material, no product can be. Therefore, the raw material become one of the reasons for the change in the price of sugar. The last factor is technology. Technology can help in reducing production cost for manufacturers. Why do I select that? It is because technology can increase production. So this situation will cause the input of sugar in the sugar market will also increase and the price of the price of sugar will also decrease this situation also clearly shows that when price decrease the demand will increase that's all for question question b i will give the presentation to my other teammate for question c Price cap imposed by the government on food items such as sugar, wheat, wheat flour, and cooking oil have caused some problem in the past. One reason for a price ceiling is to allow customers to obtain some essential good or service that they would not be able to afford at the equilibrium price. This will ensure that sugar is available to all customers at an affordable price. Finally, if the government can impose price cap on various goods, it will help cut inflation. 
price gap have the advantage of promoting efficient when produce produce a low price they will make less money manufacturing will become more efficient as a result reducing cost and increasing their profit margin though the price is kept by government and the goods must be sell at low price the film can still get high profit by having a high number of buyer the lower the price of good is offered by customer the higher number of customer the film will get so that the prof the profit will still at good position. so so by setting a price cap on past monopoly consumer will benefit from lower cost and greater consumer support